Cardetti, Christy Batista, Aaron Eads, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Adam Claybaugh. You're watching The Morning Show on WCIA 3. Welcome back. A program with the treasurer's office is changing things up. It's for their unclaimed property program. Mike Frerichs, Illinois State Treasurer, is with us now. Good morning, sir. Good morning. We have exciting news today. Yeah, you got a big announcement. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, so our unclaimed property division, we've already returned more than $200 million. It's wow. a record for the program. We still have two more months to go in this fiscal year, so we think we're going to smash any of our previous records. Wow. So talk about what is unclaimed property and how the program start in the first place. This was started as a consumer protection device. And started uh, oh, about 50, about 60 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the idea is if a business is holding on to money that belongs to you, uh, but they're not able to get it to you because you don't cash the check because it goes to the wrong address, they don't get to keep that money. It still belongs to you. If they can't find you and get it to you, they turn over to our office and it's our job to return that money. Yeah, so okay. returning $200 million, how did that happen? That sounds like a lot. You know, what had to happen in order for that much money to get returned? Mm -hmm. Well, we made some changes because $200 million uh, breaks last year's record of $180 million, which broke the record we set the year before, $159, and the year before, $150. Uh, we've been able to make these changes and set these records because we're doing these differently. We're making it easier for people to file their claims without any paper. Mm -hmm. We have a new program called Fast Track, which uses the Internet to track down someone's previous addresses. And this last year, we just started mailing people checks. Oh. We're called Money Match. We match a state database versus our database, and if someone shows up, we'll just mail them a check. It could not be easier. So you could get a surprise check in the mail that you didn't even know belonged to. Sounds great. Well, hopefully it's not too much of a surprise because <laughs> we send a letter in advance to let oh. people know this is legitimate. One of the problems we have right. is people are skeptical. We've done such a good job of convincing people they're identity thieves out there. When someone gets a letter in the mail from the state of Illinois saying, we have money for you, they, they think it must be a scam. It seems yeah. like a dream. I can yeah. understand why. So what kinds of things are unclaimed property from? Can you explain those? Yeah, they come to us from all kinds of ways. It could be a, a savings account you forgot about. It could be a last paycheck from a previous job you never collected. It could be a, a rebate from a cell phone company or a refund from the power company when you moved and that never got to you. Or it could be the proceeds of a life insurance policy someone took out and named you as a beneficiary of. So we're kind of talking about odds and ends here. Do you know what the average amount is that the average unclaimed property Perch. patron, yes. I guess, would, yep. would have? We find about one in four people who check our website find we have something for them, and the average amount claimed last year was $1,000. Huh. So we returned 200,000 properties for a total of $200 million, about $1,000 per person. I know now, what some I'm doing after this. Yeah. So, some of those are less than $100, some are $12, but we've returned tens of thousands of dollars to individuals. So it's worth your time. IllinoisTreasurer.gov, click on iCash. Mm -hmm. Check for yourself. If we, uh, if we have something, we'd love to write you a check. So then first you send out the letter letting them know, correct? Well, for the, those are if people have property that we've been able to confirm their address. So if someone pays their uh, uh, income taxes to the state and swears they live at that address and it matches our database, we'll mail it to them. Okay. But a lot of this property comes to us because people move and they don't get a letter telling them that they have money. And so for those people, they still need to check our website. Uh, but if they check, we verify their identity. We're happy to send the money. And there's still oh. $3 billion up for grabs. Yeah. Still $3 billion. So there's so plenty lot. left out there. We're sending records returning it, but, but there's still more, and we'd love to return more because we know that every dollar we put into people's pocketbooks here in central Illinois, they're more likely to spend it at a local business or a local restaurant. Right. And that does a lot more good for our economy than it does sitting in a vault in Springfield. I have a question. Is, is there a specific age group that this applies to the most that you've seen? Or is it just across the board? Not really. It comes in across the board. Uh, we see life insurance policies for young children. We mm -hmm. see them for surviving spouses who are much older. Okay. Uh, lost paychecks tend to be someone who's a, a little bit older. Uh, but there are people who buy cell phones or younger. They get something. But typically, this property sits at the company for five years before they have to abandon it, uh, consider it abandoned and turn it over to us. So if you're a relatively new resident of the state, we're unlikely to have something for you. If you've been here for a while, it's really worth your time to go check. But the bottom line is, if it sounds too good to be true that the state is giving you money instead of taking it away, check with the treasurer. It is. It sure. is very much true. We've called people and, and told them we had money for them, and they've hung up on us. <laughs> not, not surprised on that one. But yeah, thank you that, so yeah. much. Remind us one more time of the website. IllinoisTreasurer.gov, and you can click on iCash. Check for yourself. Check for your family members. If we don't have something for you, we'd love to return to someone in your family. Great. Thank you for treasurer, being here. Thank you very much. Yeah, 
Thanks for having me. Of course. Still to come, you guys, we're getting some help with the forecast today. That's right. Caden is here to tell us what the rest of today's weather will be. You're going to meet him coming up in our KidCaster segment.